So most of you probably don't know this about me, but I used to work a part-time job as a youth development teacher for a before and after school program. Since I don't work there anymore, I figured it'd be fun to talk about it. Now you're probably like, what's a youth development teacher? And to explain it in the most brief and least boring way possible, basically we watch students before school when their parents drop them off, and after school until their parents pick them back up. Some of our duties included helping students complete homework, study for a quiz or test, fitness, arts and crafts, and teaching them the importance of the four respect rules. Also, occasionally, some kids had social anxiety or were really nervous about going to class for whatever reason, so we'd help comfort them before school started in the morning. Although we had our own classroom in the school, we obviously weren't on the same level as the other classroom teachers, so the kids referred to us as Mr. or Miss First Name. I was known as the artsy staff, and kids would often ask me to draw them pictures. And fun fact, the first time I ever heard of the odd ones out was when a student asked for a drawing of him. Miss Emily, can you draw me something? Sure, what would you like? The odd ones out. The odd... The odd one... what? The odd one's out. He's my favorite YouTuber. Oh, okay. Let's see. Uh... Do you want me to draw what he looks like, or...? No, just how he draws himself. Oh, okay. That's a lot easier. And then later I went home and watched some of his videos and had a good laugh. So thanks, kid from work who I can't name for privacy reasons. I started making YouTube videos after having worked at this job for a while, so naturally, some kids found out about it. And we're gonna focus on two of them. Names will be changed, of course. So the first student was a sixth grader who we'll call Katie. I had my first conversation with Katie one day when I saw her drawing in her sketchbook. Hey, what to draw in there? Some OCs I made from my favorite show. What show? It's called Miraculous Ladybug. Oh, I love Miraculous Ladybug! Who's your favorite character? <gasps> you like Miraculous? And from that day forward, every day after school, Katie always talks to me about her favorite shows and fandoms, like Yuri on Ice, or on High School Host Club, Hamilton, Danganronpa, Miraculous, Black Butler, etc. Coincidentally, a lot of the same fandoms that I was into, too. Katie reminded me a lot of what I was like when I was around her age. She was protective of her sketchbook and art supplies, and she watched a lot of anime. Now imagine my surprise when, during the summer after the school year was over, she found my YouTube channel and commented, Miss Emily, it's me, Katie, from <laughs> <laughs> ah, Don't post your school name! When the school year started up again, I asked her how she knew it was me, and she was like, Miss Emily, I've seen your drawing so many times, I could spot your art style immediately. Also, your voice gave it away. Katie was super low-key about it, though, and she didn't treat me any differently afterwards, which I really appreciated. I think the most excited I ever saw her was the day after I posted my More Annoying Anime Tropes video, and she ran up to me yelling, Miss Emily, you're friends with C-Dog VA? Huh? Uh, yeah, why? Turns out he was one of her all-time favorite channels. He's lovely, by the way, go subscribe. Some of her friends also found out about my channel, but they were really casual about it too, so it was nice. I'd sometimes pass them in the hall, and they'd be like, Hi Miss Emily, I really liked your last video. Thank you. So, if you guys are watching this, uh, thanks for being cool about it, and for all of our hallway discussions about musical soundtracks. Anyways, Katie was a really sweet and talented young artist, and during our end of the year party a few months ago, her mom came up to me and said, I'm really glad Katie was able to connect with someone older who shares the same interests as her. She really looks up to you, and your influence really inspires her to keep going. Th thank you so much! I- Also, she showed me your YouTube channel! <gasps> the second student in question was a third grader who we'll call Lily. Lily was a sweet little girl who was always really comfortable talking to me because she also really liked to draw and because talking to me before class helped calm her nerves. Lily also watched a lot of YouTube. Every other day, she would tell me about a YouTuber she enjoyed watching that week. Miss Emily, do you know Biju Mike? I watched him play Doki Doki Literature Club. Miss Emily, I really like Katsune. Have you seen her videos? Miss Emily, here's my OC. I based it off of Wolfie Chu's OC. One morning, Lily came into the classroom at like 6.18 in the morning while I was still barely waking up, and she goes, Miss Emily, I found a new YouTuber to watch. Her name is also Emily. Oh, uh, that's cool. Who is it? Emmy Ritu? <gasps> oh, wow. <laughs>
that's an interesting name. I've never heard of her. <laughs> she kind of sounds like you. <laughs> she didn't really mention it to me ever again for the rest of the school year, but to this day, I still wonder if she somehow knew the whole time, but didn't want to say anything. So, uh, Lily, if you're watching this, it was me. For a short while, my roommate Sole actually had the same job, just at a different school, and one day one of the students came up to her. Miss Sole, do you know the YouTuber Emmy Richu? Uh, why do you ask? I thought I saw you in one of her videos. Oh, yeah, I live with her. What?! And then Sole came home that day with fan art that the student drew for me, which I thought was really sweet. Thank you so much, Melissa, if you're watching this. You may be wondering why I chose this as my part-time job, and it's because I went to college for teaching and needed the experience. Most of my coworkers were also college students in the same major, except I later realized teaching wasn't my true passion, but I'll probably get into that in another video. I remember during work trainings, we were always told that everything we said and did could make an impact on a child, whether it be positive or negative, and that in a way, we were partially responsible for building the characters of the students that we worked with. Near the end of the school year, I started worrying about whether or not I properly fulfilled my duties as a youth development teacher. Did I make a lasting impact on the kids I worked with? Did they see me as a figure that genuinely helped them? Does me not wanting to be a teacher make me less efficient at this job I've had for two years? But on the last day of school, Katie handed me a goodbye letter, which reads, Dear Emily, you have been an amazing friend to me. You're my favorite artist and a big source of inspiration to me. You're funny, cool, and really nice. You inspired me to draw more and improve my art. I idolize you and hope we'll still be friends in the future. You've been one of the few aftercare staff I can really connect with. Thank you for being my friend, for drawing pictures for me, and being nice to me. I'm so glad I met you. It really touched my heart, and I realized that even if I didn't meet my own expectations for how effective I was at being the ideal role model, and even if I didn't get to really connect with all the students, as long as I positively impacted one child, then I was happy. And <laughs> I'm sorry if this video got a little too sappy, but it's an experience that I thought was worth sharing. And before I end, I'd like to mention that working with kids made me feel really, really old. Now listen, I consider myself to be young and sprightly. After all, I'm only in my early 20s. But man, being around actual children on a daily basis made me feel like an out-of-touch grandma. Hey, have you seen the trailer for Incredibles 2? It looks so good! No... What? Why? It's only THE most anticipated Pixar film. Don't you remember how amazing the first one was? Miss Emily, I wasn't alive when the first one came out. Miss Emily? Wow, I'm gonna die sooner than I thought! Time is passing so quickly, have I squandered the days of my youth so foolishly? I imagine death so much it feels more like a memory, once again it get me, in my sleep, seven feet ahead of me. It's okay, Miss Emily, you're still way younger than my parents! <sighs> Alright, so recently I hit 500,000 subscribers, which is insane to me. Thank you all so much for your continuous support. I've been wanting to do something for it, like making a celebratory drawing or a live stream or something, but I'm currently in the process of moving, so it's been a very busy few weeks. <laughs> I really appreciate all of you, and whether you're a new viewer or a longtime viewer, I hope I can continue to entertain you for as long as I can. Thank you so much. Thank you to everyone who drew me fan art, and of course, thank you to my patrons.